Yes, yes, yes. Shalom, shalom, chabarim, shalom. Have you come across this? Shalom, chabarim. Greetings, greetings. This is Yadin, Yadin. This is Yadin ben Chayil, Hebrew, the Hebrew name there, Ras Ayadonis Tafari, L O J, the line of Judah, Society of His Majesty. So, my brethren, share this right here with I, and he wanted and I and I to get a word on. You know, just to share a word on this. He wants to, you know, I and I to kind of weigh in on this right here. And I and I have to admit that when we first came across this, <laughs> when we first came across this right here, I think this is Ija Mindset. It's on the Ija Mindset um, platform. When we first came across this, um, what was our initial reaction? Let's just go through this right here and kind of share. He was about to get on the podcast at the time that we saw this. And even in the podcast, we made a couple of, um, you know, a couple of um, statements toward this. We're studying right here about the priests, according to the glory of his majesty. His majesty, Kamawi Hala Selassie, I Godfather and King of Kings, right? The King of Kings of Ethiopia, the, the anointed, the Messiah King of kings of Ethiopia. Let's, let's keep that in mind right there. But first thing when I saw this here, I said, you know, I would say this is a joke, right? Or people just don't read and study properly the glory of his majesty. When I say people, I had to actually go over that again. You know, I had to really go over that again. You know, I said that people don't really um, read and study Right, the teaching of his what does his majesty teach? And then this is first of all, I saw the witch is Christ. I said, Which you should have said, Who is Christ? So, who is Christ? Which, like, which one? Which one is Christ? What are you saying? Right, yeah, bro. Basically, what the Bobo Ashanti and those who are of that particular camp, that particular mansion, as well as the Aija mindset, what ones and ones are doing is defending, you know, or trying to defend. A denominational point of view, right? A denominational point of view. Haven't you heard? Haven't you read? In my father's house, there are many mansions, many mansions, but enough of these ones want to call it the house. This a house and that a house, the Bingy house, the Bobo house. But really, if we are being faithful to the precepts, you see here the elders speak about the precepts. Some will say first principles, others will say king principles. But what are the basic precepts right there? In my father's house, Right, the beta. So we're speaking to and for the beta Rastafari, the bite, the bait, right? The beta Rastafari, the house of Rastafari, my father's house, and our I and I Abba's house, and Abba Father's house. Abba Tachin, the Gusachin house, there are many mansions. But how many ones and ones refer to like that, the mansion? So we can see that ones and ones already kind of went off, even though that first initial going off may have been innocent. We're talking about the different camps over the years. I made a little prophecy right here, and I've been seeing this over the couple of years, and now we're seeing a lot of things kind of like kind of getting exposed. This almost reminds me of like when they say when the when the when the cat's away, mm -hmm. you don't know, you know the rest, right? So when I zoomed in down here. I saw this here where it says, well, who is the real, right? Who is the real Christ, Selassie or Emmanuel? I said, how dare you? How dare you put respect on the name, the proper name? You see, people get into that Selassie, 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 but that's not the name. The name is Hila Selassie. And the anointed, coronated name, right, of the king of kings upon the throne of great King David that was anointed and coronated. That's also the separation between both his and her majesty. Her majesty was crowned the same day by the will of his majesty, but only his imperial majesty was anointed. Do you know the power of the anointing? You know what we mean by the anointing? Especially in that country, that prophetic country, this man, Psalm 87, verse 4, Im Kush, in the Hebrew, Im Kush, with Kush, Ze Yulad Sham, this was born there. It doesn't even say this man, this, the God man, King of Kings was born there. So who is the real Christ? Selassie or Emmanuel? That's like saying, well, you know, is Yeshua, right? Is Yeshua the Messiah 
or is he the savior? That's almost like asking a question like that. Is Yeshua the Messiah or savior? You know, it's, it's like asking the very same sort of question right there. Who is the real Christ? Who is the real anointed Selassie or Emmanuel? And that brings to mind that many ones and ones, right, really have not studied to shew themselves approved. You know, you can call yourself a priest, prophet, and king, but really the priest, prophet, and king, firstly, it speaks of, right, he in whose image and after whose likeness we were created, right? It's speaking about the Rastafari, the Rastafari. And I'm always how the Selassie is not Rasta. He is the Rastafari. That is his name. And therefore, we as Rastafari, we're of his name, of his namesake. You ever heard of the, the, the expression namesake? All right, we're of his namesake. So when I first saw this right here, I said, well, Chan, is this a joke? Right? You know, is this some type of joke? I would say this is a joke. Well, some Rasta people just don't read. And I say some Rasta people because Rasta is an abbreviation of the glory. Make no mistake about it. It's, it's kind of a byword, right? It's a byword, right, of the called chosen the faithful Rasta far. But there are some Rasta people, right, who, who just don't read, right? Just don't read, just don't study. But even if you don't read or study, you can shema Yisrael. You can give ear, you can hear, sima, sima. But don't read or don't study the real glory of his imperial majesty, Kanamawi Hala Selassie, Hala Selassie first. Let's recognize what is the meaning of Christ. And I think it's because of people's pre-existing conditions. You ever hear of that expression, pre-existing conditions? Because most of our people over here in the Americas and the Caribbean, our pre-existing condition was under the, the, the conditioning under white supremacy, white racism, the white Anglo-Saxon Protestantism, ism, schism, you know, or Catholicism, ism, schism, the Western Gentile, Gentile white Christianity or Gentile Christianity or Greco-Roman Christianity. Right? And therefore, you know, a lot of the insanity even carries on, even once they they are the far eye. Right? Because when we talk about Emmanuel, who is Emmanuel? What does Emmanuel mean? Right? What does Emmanuel really mean? Sure, there are people who are named Emmanuel. I've I've known a few people whose name are Emmanuel, even some sisters, some sisters who are named Emmanuel. Now, should the sister that I know or sister who I know are Emmanuel or the brothers, should all of them think that they are Emmanuel because they were named Emmanuel or because they adopted the name Emmanuel? What does Emmanuel mean? Emmanuel also belongs, right, also belongs to the real Christ, right? There's a title, the real Christ, Emmanuel, Emmanuel. The real Emmanuel is Dr. Malaku Emmanuel Bayan. Let me point that out. The real Emmanuel for us in this time, in this dispensation, is Dr. Malaku Emmanuel Bayan. Do you know who that is? Right? Because that's the one that his imperial majesty sent. Right? That's the one who's, who is his imperial majesty sent. We were just going over this verse. Um, let me see if we can bring up this verse right here. It was speaking about, you know, if you receive, you know... Um, you know, one, you know, in the name, like if you receive one in the name of, let's bring this out. He that receiveth a prophet in the name of a prophet shall receive a prophet's reward. And he that receiveth a righteous man in the name of a righteous man shall receive a righteous man's reward. Shall receive a righteous man's reward. Right? The, re the receptivity. Right? Receive. Right? Receive. Right? What do you receive? Right? What do you receive of the name Emmanuel? Right? Whosoever shall receive such a such children, one of such children in my name receiveth me. Right? So do you receive the Emmanuel? The Malaku. Malaku mean his angel. Which means Dr. Emmanuel, my right? Dr. Malaku Emmanuel, Dr. Malaku Ebayan, but that E is for Emmanuel. So even in that context from the real Christ, the real anointed, Christ in his kingly character. He is the real, he was really anointed, right? And he really sits upon the throne of great King David, 
right? In that biblical land of Ethiopia, where we have the Israelites of Ethiopia, where we have the biblical prophecy of the scripts of the scripture, princes shall come, right? Out of what? Egypt, Ethiopia shall stretch forth her hands to God. This man was born there with Ethiopia. This man was born there. Are ye not as the children of the Ethiopians unto me, O children of Israel, of Israel? So we say, oh, who, who is, well, they say, which is, we're going to switch it up. Who is Christ? Right? Or oh, which one? Are they saying, which one is the Christ? If this came out from anyone else, you might have a different reaction. All right? So if I, Jemaine, you know, set wanted to, you know, start, you know, as you say, be starting something. Well, I think he really did, you know, start something with this particular post here. And there's also another post, too, that is, um, let's actually, let's see if we can bring this out right here. This other post here, just to share this other post right here. All right, I, right, your mindset. Here we go right here. All right, you see this one right here is Bongo Eddie King Selassie I Great grandfather first of all let's put respect on the name why are the, the king's children speaking the king's name in the same disrespectful way as the gentiles i could understand the gentiles because the gentiles are the gentiles the other nations are the other nations they're not of the namesake rastafari but you would think that i and i we will give more respect right more respect is bongo eddie King Selassie I grand great grandfather. What? What? We can show you the lineage. Right? You can show his lineage. He showed his lineage and the kingship lineage all the way back nearly to what they say about four thousand and four or so um B C E to B C and we don't see any Bongo Eddie, right, as in in the King of Kings um lineage, right? Coming down from King Solomon and the Queen of Sheba, right? We don't see that anywhere. So where does he get this from? Right here, all right? You want to be starting something? And here you say, it says, which is Christ? Which is Christ? Well, he does have his imperial majesty in the center, but then followed up, right? Following up from there, <laughs> right? Following up from there, we go over here, right? To this one. This is the one that... Um, I and I wife, you know, she, she said she saw something earlier and that was that one about is, um, Bongo Eddie, you know, um, King Selassie, I, um, great grandfather. <laughs> and we wonder why the other nations and the other peoples might look upon I and I and those who have I and I namesake the way they look upon I and I and I and I who have I and I namesake. Right. But here, 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 let's get into this right here. So basically, right, basically many of the Bobo Ashanti, right, and I think I Jemine said is a Bobo Ashanti, and those who are of that camp or that mansion, right? Seek to defend, right, or try to defend what basically is a denominational, a denominational point of view. This is how it's got into nowadays, right? This is how it's gotten into my father's house. There are many mansions, but what has happened is now there's like, there's many different denominations and this denominationalism comes from the pre-existing condition. You know, you know what I'm saying? The pre-existing condition, you know, the pre-existing condition is the pre-existing, you know, Bibleology, you know, or Christianity that one was familiar with. And then when they so-called cite up, you know, Selassie or cite up the king, as they call it, they basically bring the baggage, right, of their previous form, right, or deformity of Christianity into the mix. This is what causes so much confusion. This is one of the reasons why we, the black people over here, right, in the Americas and the Caribbean, through the organization that is Majesty established for us, we, the black people, the Ethiopian World Federation Incorporated, we requested, right, for the true church to come over. That's the, that's the order of His Majesty sending Archbishop Yitzhak over here because of the works and the membership of the Ethiopian World Federation Incorporated. Now, his Majesty sent his special emissary to Black America. And who was that? Dr. Malaku, right? Emmanuel Bayan, the real Emmanuel. And that's a testimony there that L, L, 
El in the Hebrew is contracted for the ancient Afro-Semitic Chayel, Chayel, Chayel. As we say, Chayla, Chayel, Ha-El, the El, the true good, the true God, the Almighty. In Hebrew, Imanu, Imanu, Imanu means with us, El. And even the name Emmanuel, Emmanuel, refers to Moshia, refers to Christ, right? Christ in the first advent and Christ in the second advent. And for the Rastafari, for the Rasta man, woman, and child that seeks to know more about, you know, Christ in the first advent, because it seems to be a confusion. Well, it is among many Christians, but this has crept in amongst many Rastafari. There seems to be a confusion. Right, as to right Christ, right, as to Christ in the true context according to the teaching, right, according to the teaching of his majesty. As he says, For my part I glory in the Bible. Right? This means that if we glory in his majesty, right, especially if we glory in that name and we have taken his name's sake, right, upon us, then we are not our own in that context we are not our own that's what the word says that you know you know christ know who are his right who are his right right and everything in its proper order all things decently and in order this very clearly if it's just a matter of putting this out there you know to get a response i think definitely there is a whole lot of response on this but let's put things into proper order when we say Christ. What do we mean by Christ? Some basics right here. So here, as the word says, to the law, right? To the law, the Torah, right? To the Torah, right? And to the prophets, to the law and to the prophets. If they speak not like this, it is because there is no light in them, right? There's no light in them. Right. Let's go right here where it says we have found the Messiahs, the Messiahs. I think it's Messiahs. Here we go. We have this verse right here in John's Gospel, Johannes, right? Johannes, John's Gospel, chapter one, verse 41. He first findeth his own brother, Simon, and saith to him, we have found Messiahs. Now you see it with the S there, Messiahs. That's kind of like a... um a kind of a copto coin of Greekizing of a Hebrew of a Hebrew word, a Hebrew, a Hebrew title. Messiah is a title, right? It's not a title that one truly can take upon themselves. One brethren, and heal up, Aya Congo Dawi, heal up to rise. And one brother even, you know, he said it well. He said that, you know, considering, you know, that um let me let me get his statement exactly the way he said it because he said it succinctly. He says he says um, he says he says he says no uh, right another group right another group cl claiming their leaders. Oh, okay. He sent me something else and he was showing me that there's another group that like a Rasta group right or like a broken branch or something like that's claiming that their leaders their leaders is the Christ. Their leaders, in other words, like the men and people like I and I, the brothers, or well, the leaders, they are the Christ. And then he said this, he says, it's just preposterous. Thank you, Brother Ayakongo, from Rise On in J.A. Yes, I. So here, 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 what is, right, what is Christ? In other words, what does Christ really mean? To see who really qualifies for that title, right? Who qualifies for that title, right? Before my right, Prince Charles Edward Emmanuel, there was and is and be Kadamawi Hala Selassie. The Rastafari Kadamawi Hala Selassie before my right, Prince Charles Edward Emmanuel, a denominational leader in Rastafari of the Bobo Ashanti. Right? And enough ones and ones who are Bobo Ashanti, we'd be having our reasonings and you know I and I love the I but here we have to speak on this. I ain't have to speak on this. This is the time that the word that the scripts speak on, right? The word the scripts it speaks on this right here concerning First Peter four and seventeen, where it says, "For the time is come that judgment must begin at the house of God, Elohim, 
Elohim. And if it begin at us, at I and I, this is what we're witnessing among Rastafari, different mansions, different things that are popping up in social media and in the media. It is a time of judgment, even a fiery judgment. And if it begin, if it first begin at us, at I and I, what shall the end be of them that obey not? That's the key word there. We're just reading from 1 Peter 4 and 17. They obey not the gospel, the good news of God, of Elohim, Haile Selassie, rise and shine, Beta Rastafari. In my father's house, there are many mansions. He didn't say denominations, but mansions, right? Mansions. You know, like if you, mansions like a living room. It's like different rooms. If you were going into like a, um, a, a big house, like a, a so-called mansion. Now, a lot of this gets caught up in words, right? Words, right? Because we're, we're, we're here looking even at a translation. Now, in this translation, John chapter 1, verse 41, it says, we have found the Messiah, which is being interpreted the Christ, right? We found the Messiah. So here we have a Hebrew term, right, that is now put in a Greek form. So we have a Hebrew term, Mashiach, Mashiach, that is put now in the Greek context of Messiah. But you can see here from Thea definition is the anointed. There's anointed priests, prophets, and kings all were anointed. Once again, priests, prophets, and kings, right? Priests, prophets, and kings were all anointed. Let's just point that out right there. Turn that off for a moment. Yeah. Priests, prophets, and kings were all anointed. And there's an order of anointing. Right? It's not just because you put some oil on you. You know, of course, you know, you take a take a shower and everything, dry off, and you put some oil on yourself or, or some grease or Vaseline. Okay, you anoint yourself. Okay, but that's not the same thing. Let's not get it twisted. That's not the same thing. We're talking about order. Let all things be done decently and in order. We say after the order of Melchizedek, this is no play-play thing that man and man can philosophize and make up ting. Right? It's supposed to be according to the glory of the King of Kings. He said, For my part, I glory in the Bible. Right? So, here, what does the Bible say concerning Christ? Right? First of all, the true context, the true foundational context of Christ is that Christ is a translative term in the Koine Copto Greek of the Hebrew Mashiach which we have here in John chapter 1, verse 41, in the Greek form, right? Though the Greek form of Messiah is Messias. See, that, that S, they add the S behind a lot of names, like John's name, right? Johannes will actually be Johann. Like um, Matthew's name, right? Mateos will be actually Mateo. Like um, Mark's name, Marcos will actually be Marco. Like Luke's name, Right, Luca so would be Luca, like Peter's name, Petros would actually be Petro. Right, so they do that. That's something that's the convention in the Greek, you know, in 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 language when they write some names, they add the S behind the name that distinguishes it from other parts of speech. It's something a convention in the linguistics of the Koine Greek. But let's scroll down right here, here, here. You see what it says? The origin now, right, of the Messiah is a Hebrew origin. You see the H4899, and then it says referred to the G5547, right? So here we have Moshiach, Moshiach, right? Moshiach, Moshiach, right? We have Moshiach, Moshiach. What is Moshiach? Moshiach is anointed, the anointed one of the Messiah, messianic prince. Now let's recall this before, right? Before the coronation and the anointing, right, of Negus, King Teferi, Karamawi Hala Selassie, we have that messianic prince. And the messianic prince revealed circa, what was that, 1914, right, 1914, 1915, roughly between 1914 and 1916. That prophetic time is Ras Teferi, Prince Ras Tafari, Prince Ras Teferi Mekonin, right? This is that messianic prince, right? That later, right, would be coronated, just as the prophecy says. See, there's a prophecy in Enoch, 
that lets us know who is the Messiah, both in the first advent, right, in the person of Yeshua Hanotri, Jesus of Nazareth, right, the Messiah, some say the Messiah Ben Yosef, and then in the second advent, or the second adventure, the second coming, as the Moshiach Ben Dawid, the Messiah son of David. So who is anointed? Who is the anointed one? See, nowadays people can say Christ, like in Christianities, you know, and, and everybody can say Christ this, Christ that. You know what I mean? It's like a byword, right? But then when we're speaking about the Christ, according to Scripture, we're actually speaking about the Messiah, right? And therefore, for one to truly be a Messiah or the Messiah, it must be according to the Hebrew pattern. And here's where Ethiopia and the Israelites of Ethiopia provide the important key and link with all the other witnesses, such as the Ark of the Covenant, the 12,000, right? 1,000 from each of the tribes of Yisrael, right? Ark of the Covenant, right? The scrolls, the history, right? The prophecy. So we have the king of Yisrael is anointed, right? The king of Yehuda of Judah, right, is anointed. I right, just to point that out, but the king of Yisrael of the unified kingdom, right? Speaking of the northern Yisrael and Judah, kings of Yisrael, our kings are anointed. The high priests of Yisrael, the first Christ in the Bible to say the first Messiah in the Bible is Aharon, is Aaron. The first Christians in the Bible to say anointed ones is the sons of Aaron or the priests. So we have the pattern in the scripture, right, for the Messiah, right, as the high priest, the Kohen Gadol, right, in the person of Aharon. The first mention of priests in the scripture is Malachi Tzedek, Malachi Tzedek, Melchizedek. Now, it doesn't tell us whether he was anointed or not. We can assume that he was, but the principle, right, of the anointed, we find it brought out, especially when we get to like the second and the third book of Moshe, particularly Exodus and Leviticus, with the anointing of Aharon, of Aaron and his sons, the high priest, right, and the priests, the high priest and the priests. So we have the Messiah, the Hebrew Christ is Aharon. Well, I'm saying the Hebrew Christ. People might get it twisted. I want to say that when you look into the Old Testament and you see the fact that Aaron was anointed, in your New Testament terms, in the Old Testament sense, he would be the first Christ or the first anointed. And his sons, who are the priests, the Kohanim, they would be the first Christians. That's where we get the pattern. That's why when we go to the epistle to, to the Hebrews, right, it is breaking down how Yeshua HaNotri, Jesus of Nazareth, is HaMoshiach, how he is the Messiah according to the Hebrew type. This is why going through the epistles to the Hebrews, you'll see the whole language points us right there to HaTorah, right? And particularly to the heart of Torah, to Leviticus, the handbook of the priests, right? So when man and man say, every man is priest, prophet, and king, that is a, there's a misnomer, there's a misunderstanding of that. Every man being created in the image and after the likeness of God is also the image and the likeness of God, but man falls short. So every man has the potential to be priest, prophet, and king. But the one that fulfills that, right, is Yeshua, the King of Kings Christ. Who is the King of Kings Christ? To say, who is the Christ that the King of Kings speaks of, right, the Moshiach? He speaks of the Messiah in the first advent, Yeshua HaNotri, Yenazaretu Iesus, Jesus of Nazareth. I know that's that's kind of hard for some of y'all who have been under, you know, white Anglo-Saxon Protestant Christ, counterfeit Christianity, Kaiser Bogias, right? Kaiser Bogias, and some throw out the so-called proverbial baby in the bath water, as it was. Now, Cyrus Koresh, also, he is one of the few and maybe the only Gentiles that we have according to the scripture, who Yahweh, Yahweh 
the Holy One, blessed be He, blessed be the name, says and calls Him by name. Koresh, his name really is Koresh, Koresh. That in the translation into the English, anglicized is Cyrus. You see the D of the patriarchs as anointed king. So let's see right here, we have Moshiach, Moshiach, right, is the anointed, the anointed one. And did you know that there is a process and a procedure for anointing? There's an order that anything outside of this order you could call yourself a Christ or call yourself a Messiah or whatever. You could call yourself whatever you want to call yourself. But it has, it's of no effect, right? What is of effect is that anointing that took place upon the Rosh, the Ras, the head of Ras Teferi Mekonin, Nugus Teferi Mekonin, Kermawi Haile Salase. Weep not, behold. Now, how is somebody gonna, that's going to come up in that order and say that they are Rastafari, and then try to, it's, it's like, are you trying to coup d'etat? Is this a coup d'etat? Uh, some sort of Christology coup d'etat? It's just confusion, right? But the truth of the matter is the anointed applies to the Messiah, to the Messianic Prince, an anointed prince, to the king of Israel, the kings of Israel, the true kings of Israel were anointed. The high priest of Israel was anointed. One foreigner, one Gentile, Koresh, Koresh, also was anointed. Cyrus. I remember Cyrus and Darius and when the return of the black Jews from Persia, right, to Yerushalayim. And then we have the patriarchs also as anointed kings. Let's scroll down here to Strong's definition. That was BDB, Brown's Drivers Briggs here. We're with the Strong's definition, anointed. Usually a consecrated person. You see what it says? As a king, a priest, or a saint. So we could say as a king, a priest, or a prophet, a, a king, a priest, or a saint. Specifically. Generally speaking, I and I call chosen and faithful Rastafari. Yes, we are messianic. Yes, we are messiah. Yes, we are anointed in the spirit and the truth. If we are anointed in his spirit and his truth. But he is the, 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 capital the, the, Messiah, Messiah, the, the anointed. All right, so it just wasn't the coronation here. Many ones talking about the coronation on November Second, 1930, it wasn't just the coronation, it was the anointing. It was the anointing. We can go through this point by point. There's the Sarata Nix, Sarata Nix, the order of the coronation. Check out the first English translation of the original Amharic and Gutta's text of the liturgy and program for the coronation of His Imperial Majesty Kadamawi Haile Selassie on the 2nd of November, 1930. And once again, I'd like to give thanks right here, here, here to the Far Eye, to the Far Eye and Deborah Zait books and also Brother Ayared, Ayared as well. This book, Right, was published by the Deborah Zait Books under the auspices of Far Eye, the Federation of the Rastafari Assemblies in Italy, and of Exodus Ethiopian Cultural Service. This is a very, very important book because what we get here is a translation. Just open the book right here to page 101. The Messianic Order. Messianic, quote, order, end quote, that the order describes a coronation of messianic nature is a fact that remains evident throughout, independent of the specific prophetic implications attributed to the event. And here we get actually the actual breakdown of what occurred on that day and according to what order and how that order Right is after the order of Melchizedek. How that order, right, is according to the type and the pattern that we have in Ha Torah that we have in the Torah, and we're speaking about that which is concerning Garmawi Kadamawi Haile Selassie, the right, the Christ in his kingly character. This is a zoom in right here, right? So that, that we are zooming on who we are speaking about, so there'll be no confusion. So let's, let's go on right here, just for a moment. I just open this book, the Sarata Nix, Nigis, Nigis, Sarata Nix, the order of the coronation of the king. 
the adjective messianic indeed has an objective ritual definition that is derived from the Afro-Semitic word for the sacrament of, quote, unction with oil performed to initiate and empower the sovereigns, the sovereigns of ancient Yisrael, of ancient Israel, to their office so they can serve their duty to their office as king as Melech, as Negus, even as Negus and Neges, and by natural continuity, those of the same lineage transfer to Ethiopia. Remember Psalm 87, verse 4, Im Kush Zeulad Sham, with Ethiopia, with Kush, this man, this was born there, expressed by the Afro-Semitic root, the Meme, the Sheen, right, and the Chet, Mashiach, found in Ge'ez, the Ethiopic, as well as in Biblical Hebrew, this process is a process of anointment, delineated a real change of state in the invested individual, in the invested indivisible dual, in the invested individual, as in the case when, quote, the spirit of Yahweh came up on Dawid, on David in power. First Shemuel, first Samuel chapter 16, verse 13. There's more on this as well, but definitely get a copy of this right here, here, here. The order of the coronation, right? Which zooms in and also brings out, not only was there a coronation putting a crown on a king, but there was the right ritual and the right order according to the Hebrew, the Israelite, right? The, you say the Afro-Semitic, the ancient order according to HaTorah, right? So we have continuity and we also have consistency, right? Continuity and consistency. Just a little more here. We're going to return to this one because where we saw that, you know, the Ijamain mindset, you know, already put up there, that other one, you know, the one about Bobo, Bongo, uh, Eddie, uh, Hala Selassie, great-grandfather, and we can see the lineage. We know what the lineage, the lineage is, right? That No, Prince Charles Edwards is not, right? His majesty great-grandfather, right? So, oh man, mm 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 mm, -mm. Let's just stick to this right here. A couple more points right here. And then we'll return to this right here. Um, one brother in, one brother in Helop, the first um, duly elected, you know, the international um, first vice president. He had shared something too, just a couple of highlights. He said, what a ton of diverse doctrine. Seems like none of these people met Edward. <laughs> Give thanks, Abdiyu, Abdiyu, brother Abdiyu, Obadiah, share this. Now, man acclaimed David throne is in Jamaica. Now, the man that acclaimed, a man acclaimed Dawid, David's throne is in Jamaica. <laughs> and he turned David. Now he turns into Dawid. He turns into David. Remember, I mentioned about pre existing conditions. Don't they tell you that when they have some kind of a drug or something? They said it depends on like pre-existing conditions and everything like that. Like, go check your doctor. But ones and ones haven't checked the great physician. If they did, they would have been studying to shoot himself approved. And by studying the glory of his majesty, the Bible, as well as, we could say, our divine heritage, we would think that that would basically, you know, that would basically um, drive off the madness. But now you got a man, a claim, David Throne, is in Jamaica, and he turned David. Mixing up ting, mixing up a ting. William Love, diverse doctrine, Jerusalem schoolroom. <laughs> Mix up ting. Pure madness. People need to understand all Bible talk is history. This is I and I, fellow president, duly elected president of the Ethiopian World Federation Incorporated. You know, because the same thing they've done in the Rastafari, they've done everywhere. You know what I mean? It's just confusion, especially come out of her, come out of Babylon, coming out of this confusion. Pure madness. People need to understand all Bible talk is history. Haile Selassie first is now. Haile Selassie first is now. All right now, 
not all Bible talk, I would say, is history, but you understand the point. History, prophecy, principles, but Haile Selassie, Ketamawi, Haile Selassie, the revelation is now, in this time, in this in this dispensation. We're speaking about this dispensation. Bobo Dunn, Bobo Dunn with Eddie, and this brother participating in nonsense rank. No wonder the nation has gone sideways, gone sideways. I ain't talking about lean back, the, the back of the chair broke and one's, mm. remember what happened to Eli? Eli, remember Eli, the priest Eli, when he heard about how the Ark of the Covenant was snatched and gone? Remember when he heard it? He fell backward and broke his neck. You know what I mean? That's what ones and ones, they're going backward and causing the nation to go sideways. This nation going sideways couple other points, but we'll pick up on this a little bit later on. This is just a kind of a couple of first, you know, a first words right here. But like I said, when I first saw this, I said, it must be a joke that I make. A joke. It's a joke thing. A joke that I make? No, one is serious. It's a chant. Ain't this something? Which is Christ? And then when they say, who is the real Christ? Selassie? You talking the Trinity? You talking the Trinity? What do you mean by Selassie? You better sit down and learn your fidel. Learn learn the ha le ha me se re se or ha hu he ha he he ho. Come on, come on, stop this. Who's the real Christ? Selassie? Oh, we met Selassie. See, Babylon called him Emperor Selassie. And I know some of the dreads and the rises early in the days, so forth and so on, but we're not of that dispensation. Those are our predecessors. They did the best they could with what they had to do with. Right, we should be still growing in grace and the knowledge. Who is the real Christ? You mean Hila? You mean Hila Selassie first? You mean Kedamawi? Hila Selassie first? And see, try to teach some of our brothers, show them that it's QE, then others come along with K apostrophe and all this kind of goofy stuff. Right? You know, I guess to make it in their own way. It's almost like what they've done with the, with the Bible nowadays like the king james bible if you notice the king original king james bible never had a copyright on it <laughs> but what these guys do nowadays is they basically take the same basic bible maybe look a little bit in the hebrew or look a little bit in the greek and then they come off their own translation of it so they can get a copyright on it that's what a lot of these people do with their diverse doctrine the same thing diverse doctrine right they make up something and they twist the truth so they can get some unique Ness on it. But the real glory of his majesty, you know, is to study the Bible, the B-I-B-L-E. As we said, and we still call it like this, that what a lot of ones are seeking to do, right? Not just among I and I Rastafari, but here we're speaking among I and I Rastafari, right? Among the elect, even as the word that we shared from First Peter, First Peter 4.17, for the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of God, Elohim. Yes, brothers and sisters, let me make I, Yadin here, prophesy for a moment. Abba, Father, is going to clean up his house and going to clean, he's cleaning up the mansions. In fact, a lot of this stuff that's being exposed, when even when I saw the, the Scots Pass thing, right? Even the thing about the, the rape and molestation among some so-called, right, ones who are so-called calling themselves, right, by a name similar to I and I name you know we recognize this prophecy here for some years some of the ones and ones might know we mentioned it like privily right you know that we decided to push on because father's going to work it out but we need to have a sure place for those who want to grow in grace abba father is going to clean up his house the fiery judgment is coming is now this is great actually the fact that we're seeing a lot of these things like this we say why you say it's great it's confusing. It's, it's, well, yeah, if you limit it, just looking at it right now, right? But you got to have the long prophetic view. You got to recognize what the prophet I see, the prophet I see, what the prophecy is, what the prophet I see. This is great. That a lot of these things, a lot of these things, right, can finally be sorted out and exposed front and center. First Peter 4 and 17, for the time, the Iowa, if you please, for the Iowa is come that judgment must begin at the house of Elohim, at the Beit El, Bethel, at the house of Elohim, Hilehim. And if it first begin at us, at I and I and I and I, 
what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of Elohim, of Elohim, Haile Selassie. So what will it be for those who don't obey the good news, right? And the question here, do you know what the good news? What is the good news? The good news is the good news of the kingdom. Go check your Bible. Go check the scripts. Go check the scripts. Check the glory. His majesty is already checking who is really his and who is not and allowing someone to clown around for a moment, right? Haile Selassie I is truly anointed. So he is truly the Messiah. And therefore, by interpretation, the Christ, coronated and anointed November 2nd, 1930. The prophecy, the signs, the 72 nations, the witnesses, even the, the fascist, Italian, um, anti-Christian invasion, all those things were signs prophetically. And we could go through the scripts and reveal it. So, Haile Selassie I, and Amawi Haile Selassie is both our Christ, our anointed, the Christ, right? In this revelation, in the, this, now revelation, the anointed, as we say, Christ, the anointed in his kingly character, not as a lamb to the slaughter, but as the conquering lion of Judah. And he is the Emmanuel, the Imanu. Emmanuel basically is a name that says that El, El in the Hebrew, El, Hail, Ha, El is the El, Hail in Hebrew and in Amharic means power, that the power, the Almighty is with us. He is the sign and the seal that God, the true power, El, Ha, El, Hail is with I and I and I and I. So even the name Emmanuel, belongs to him. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now, if you're talking about Charles Edwards, right, or this right here, let's go over here. If you're talking about this right here, right, is Bo, Bongo, Eddie, King, Selassie, I, uh, great-grandfather. Take off your shoe and kick some rocks, all right? We know what the lineage, right? If if Bongo, Eddie, right, was Kanamawi Hala Selassie, my great grandfather, then that would invalidate Kanamawi Hala Selassie as the conquering line of the tribe of Judah, as the root of David, as Christ in his kingly character. Plain and simple. If Bongo Eddie was Kanamawi Hala Selassie, the Rastafari's great grandfather, in fact, let's just do this right here for a moment because let's see who they're insulting. Bra, you need to take this one down. You know, really, really, you need for real, you need to take that one down. You know, you need to repent of this. You know, yes, we're gonna say it like this. Our brother, you know, at least our brother in namesake, you know, I Jermaine said, and you know, really need to take this one down. You really need to take this one down. I mean you can keep it up there if you want to, but you know what they said, a word to the wise should be sufficient. Who was the great grandfather? Why of Rastafari, who is the great grandfather? All right, here, 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 let's just answer this. No, Bongo Eddie is not King Haile Selassie's great grandfather. Gonna do a whole video and just to share some exhibits, but right here, 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 looking at His Majesty's the, the autobiography, book one, known as Hiwete Naya Ethiopia Rimja, right? And we look at the English, the English version of it, there's a genealogical outline. Right, and we see here Haile Selassie or Tafari and Menin, and he is the son, right, the son of man, that man child, son of Ras Mekonin, Ras Mekonin, right, and of course the mother Yeshimabet, right, and then Ras Mekonin, son of Tanyani Work, Tanyani Work, right, and Wolda Mikael. So we're speaking about Wolda Mikael would be. Ras Tafari would be Teferi Kadamawi Hala Selassie's grand grandfather. Right? We have we have we have father, grandfather, and the great grandfather would be Sala Selassie. How dare you? How dare you? How dare you? Do you know who Sala Selassie is? 
How dare you? How dare you? Is this a joke? It's not a very good joke. It's a very bad joke, right? If it is a joke, and if you're serious about it, get serious about it. Look up what the genealogy of his match is. His great-grandfather, Salah Selassie, 1813, right? It has 1813 to 18, what, 47? Chant, pretty young man right there. I don't know if this is the time that he ruled, or this is, let's see right here. This must be, I'm looking at some, okay, yeah, this might be the rulership time. Salah Selassie, Salah Selassie, from Salah Selassie is the great-grandfather. Right, and then then we have the grandfather Woda Mikhail. Then we have the father Ras Mekonen, and then we have the man-child Teferi Lids Teferi. Right, Dejas Match Teferi, Ras Teferi, Negus Teferi, and upon the throne of Great King David, Kedamawi Haile Selassie. I wish I had that 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 um what you call him that um. What's his name has um this this little this little audio um sound bite and it's called shame 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 you know shame shame you know shame on ones for even 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 ha, ha, what <laughs> anyway brothers and sisters sisters and brothers gonna touch on this one you know even even separately right here but for right now you know let it suffice. Right, you know, love always to one and all. Love always. No, what it says, if you love me, you'll keep my word. That's what the scripture says. If you love me, you'll keep my word. Right, what is the teaching of the King of Kings? For my part, I glory in the Bible. Right, so how you even ask this question who is the real? Right, who is the real? Right, they're only defending a, a denominational, a, a faulty doctrinal view. Well, there's a faulty doctrinal view that it seems as though ones and ones haven't really seen the truth of the matter yet. Hopefully they'll see the truth of the matter before it is too late. Let's just bring this up once again. We was about to get out of this one right here from the anointed. Go to the root right here. Mashach. Mashach. Right? Mashach means to smear, to anoint, to spread a liquid. Right, and just because it's a spread of liquid, some people think, oh, they're gonna just spread smear something or spread a liquid. That's not anointing. There's an order. We're just defining what this term, what the verb means. It's a primitive root to rub with oil. That is to anoint by implication to consecrate, also to paint. Interesting. To anoint, to paint, to anoint, to paint. Right, so he actually is the anointed, and it's kind of interesting. We think about the paintings, the pictures, the icon, the iconography of who is the anointed. So here it says, We have found the Messiah, which is being interpreted Christ. And Christos, Christos does not come from ancient Egypt, Karas, Karas. Right? That means you don't know you don't know language, you don't know linguistics, and all you're doing is regurgitating something that somebody else said that you think that you believe is true, but we vetted it, it's not true. Christos come from Creo, Creo, right? So it says here Christ, speaking of Yeshua, right, Christ equals Messiah. Right? Christ equals Messiah. Right? Yeshua is the Messiah. In that first advent, as the Bain Elohim Chayim, right, the anointed, and then you can trace this word right, right here, anointed. Some take Christ as Yeshua's last name, right, in the Western Gentile tradition. When it says Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMoshiach, is saying that Yeshua is the Moshiach. When we say Christos or Christ Jesus, we're, we're now saying the Messiah, Yeshua. Right? So the whole point of contention between the Yehudi, the Jews who believed, who accepted Yeshua, and those who didn't as to whether Yeshua is HaMushiach. So this is the reason why Christ in the English is attached as it is Jesus Christ. It should really be in the translation, Jesus the Christ or Jesus the Christ, as the Hebrew original has Yeshua HaMoshiach or HaMoshiach, the Messiah, Yeshua. So that's just an acknowledgement that of those who 
accepted that Yeshua truly is the prophesied Messiah in the first event, advent, to anoint the consecrating Yeshua to his messianic office and furnishing him with the necessary powers for his administration. That is a question I have right here. With Yeshua being the Moshiach, <laughs> was there a, a physical anointing? But Yeshua did not sit on a physical throne, not during his first advent. He said those things will be fulfilled when? when he returns in the second advent thus november 2nd 1930 we get that anointing as it says right here my the messianic office office of the king of kings even the king of kings of ethiopia conquering line of the tribe of judah his anointing furnished him with the necessary powers for his administration also, we have the sense of anointing within the Christological sense that endues or gives the Christians or Christ-like one, Messiah-like ones with the gifts of the Holy Spirit, the anointing, one might say, with the Holy Spirit. Here, Strong's definition, probably akin to the G5530, that is the, the Ka, that this is the Kra O, the Kra O, o My, Kra O My, Kra O My. Right? Now this is, they said probably, they said probably, but through the idea of contact, contact. So to anoint contact, to smear or to rub with oil, that is by implication to consecrate to an office. What office was the king of kings consecrated to? Well, how does Salati consecrated to the throne of David? Right? Or one can be consecrated or anointed to a religious service, as we mentioned, with the high priest and with the Kohanim, the priest, to anoint. So here in the scripture, it explains the original term, Moshiach, Messiah, and the translative term, the Christ. It's like instead of saying the Messiah, instead of saying the Christ, suppose we just start to say the anointed. It's like saying the anointed. Basically, that's the bottom line, the anointed. One more verse here, John 4, 25. The woman said to him, my right, the Samaritan woman, she said, I know that Messiah, no, so she said, Messiah, Moshiach, I know that Moshiach cometh, which is called Christ. All right, so the Hebrews and the Hebrew speakers, we look for the Moshiach. As we talk about the Mashiach and speaking Hebrew, we were in the world at that time with the Greeks and the Greek, Greek speaking, like today, English speaking. So sometimes we say a term in another language, other people don't understand what that term is, so we give them a, you know, an interpretation of that. Moshiach, let's say, anointed. But in speaking the Koine Greek, the only way to say anointed in Koine Greek is Christos, Moshiach, right, who is called Christos. The Messiah in Hebrew, who is called the Messiah, according to the Greek calling or interpretation. When he is come, he will tell us all things. And truly, right, he has come, right, and he has told us, I and I and I. So who is the real anointed, right, the real Christ in this time manifests? It is the conquering line of the tribe of Judah. Karmawi Karmawi Haile Selase Siyuma Egziaviher Neguse Neges Ze Etiopia. Shalom, Chavarim, Shalom.